must have shut. Probably for the best. Not sure I trust the shuttle train anymore. I'm sweating in this suit. Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get the theta. Don't worry about it. I got this. Listen. Help me out here, will you? I think I need some vacation, so... I have to speak papers about that. Is that right, Akers? Hey, can you hear me? Make yourself useful. Listen. Give me some room, will you? Yeah, you put in a good word for me. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing.
fucking injecting that shit into them? It got me pretty bad. I think I made it worse pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? Fuck. He got on the Zeppelin. He's going back to Theta. We have to warn them. Good luck with that. The platform radio is dead. Remember? The Lumar Annex should work. It has to. Yeah. You go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm just not. Come on, Evans. We have to warn them. Come on! Carthage casing? We need to test that one before we ship it. I can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. 
Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Voltec did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter now. Are, are all of you coming? Nope, just me, Goy, and Creer. Acres is set up being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> uh, see you soon, Brandon. Happy evac. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. I, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> You can really tell when Astrid is off platform. This place turns into such a locker room. Not in a good way either. You. Give me some room, will you? I don't know, man. 
I just say we can keep things classy even when women aren't around, you know? so full of shit, Brandon. I've seen you when payload manager Alice Coster shows up. You'd let her manage your payload? What? That doesn't even make sense. Come on, stop messing around and get back to work. Transport active. Unspecified cargo. The Zeppelin's on its way. Better get ready. Oh, <laughs> 
disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ugh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us the chip. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. Get it, Akers. I'm not playing. Ah, oh, come on. Okay? We really needed that chip. We, we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was... talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure.
really good back there, Simon. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Beta. Then we just head inside, grab the Dunback, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the Dunback, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I, I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight I and mean, go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <sighs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon.
his head. Who is this? Catherine? I'm busy working. Oh, I just wanted to say thank you for what you did. Don't worry about it, but you should stand up for yourself. I mean, Strohmeyer doesn't have that kind of authority. You could just tell him to go fuck himself. Oh, I just don't. I'm not that kind of a person. You can't expect people to fight for you all the time. You're a brilliant person, Kath. You're so smart it makes my head spin, but sometimes you just disappear into yourself. Suddenly it's like talking to a fucking five-year-old. It's just hard. I can't just be more like that. Everyone would know I'm pretending. It's not too late to win people over. Strasky likes you. I like you. Reed likes you. Strasky likes everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, you think Reed likes me? Catherine, a lot of people like you. You just need to open up a little. Be more approachable. Can I get back to work now? I'd rather not be reprimanded twice in one day. Okay, see you back inside. Over and out. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The valve should have done a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Komarevi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Emma, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Stras, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Wally. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. That's everything, right? Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? I don't understand. Hello? Who is that? Mark? No, we haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass, Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living skin in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you died before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? 
Catherine Chun? No. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta.
We're here. We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the Dunbat. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the Abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a pro fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... it's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm, sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? In the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out.
What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. something went wrong. You really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. Tomorrow. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. What's the little projector? Looks homemade. That's my attempt at building a vivarium. It's kind of a proto-arc. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. a lot of toys. Huh. You don't have to search my room. We'll get by. Maybe we should move on. Teddy Bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean... 
Yeah, that's a part of Reed's Vivarium. It's, it, it, it's a long story, forget it. Come on, no need to go through all my stuff. body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells. They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. Then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences. 
but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars.